Bismillah rahman rahim My name is Dr. Sayyid Abdi. I'm from Liverpool. I'm working as a doctor in Liverpool. Um, I've been there in the United Kingdom for the last 23 years now. Although originally I'm from Pakistan, born in Karachi, born and brought up and uh, did my uh, basic education in Pakistan. Uh, I'm fortunate I'm, I belong to one of the Shia family and uh, uh, I was raised in the Muhammad of Ali Bayt, love and affection of Ali Bayt, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I always wanted to come here, so this is my first visit to Karbala, inshallah, and I hope it will be first of many. I think, uh, as, we, as I said, uh, we are fortunate that we are born in Shia family. Uh, who were raised by our mothers, our father, and our brother, sister, uh, to, to uh, love and affection of Ahle Bath. And when we hearing from the very early age about the, uh, what happened to Imam alayhi salam, uh, Mazlum e Karbala, what happened to them. So I think people think about going for holidays here or there, but for every Shia, we all want to, Kar that's the biggest holiday of our life, to come to Karbala. And so obviously this was from the day one, um, uh, and uh, Allah gave me tawfiq now, so I came this time. And we arrived from Najaf airport, so as soon as they, we saw Karbala sign, and you can feel like a sinking boat, that you can feel the sorrow, you can feel the what happened to a Muslim Imam, and immediately you want to cry. So that exactly happened to me. Uh, we did not see the sign, but we, uh, I thought about that I think it's a Karbala now. You can feel internal feeling that is, it is a uh, land of sorrow. I think, obviously, when you don't see anything, you want to see. But generally, what happens if you go somewhere which you've never seen, you said, OK, let's, I've seen, let's move on. But the feeling of Karbala, once we are here, I'm already planning what to do next, when I'm coming next, and inshallah, Arbaeen, Arfa. So it's a more, you want more, and more and more visits here. So this is the feeling, different from any other. I've been to all over the world, uh, from Disneyland to uh, here and there. Uh, but the feeling which you, when you come here, you see there, you, so, you see the affection. It looks like your mom is inviting you, and you want to be here all the time. As you said, you're from Karbala, so uh, uh, I don't know. I'm already planning when I'm retired or whether I saw the sign of Imam Hussain, alayhi salam, Safir Imam Hussain Hospital. I was thinking about going there and find out whether I can come uh, once in a blue moon or once in a, uh, once a year to come and do some charity work. So that's the feeling. That's a different feeling from anywhere else. Yeah, even before coming, when I was coming, people were asking, why are you going to Karba, uh, uh, Iraq? Because when uh, our Western friends find out about the Iraq, they know about ISIS. So they worried about why I'm going on this time. So I was explaining to them what is Karbala, what is Iraq, where I'm going. And I explained to them, it's a, it's, I, I said to them, this is very difficult to say why we want to go. We know we may be killed there. And I'm quite happy to go there uh, in Karbala, likely because if you have someone else say that you go there where people will be killed, you try to avoid. But this is the feeling that you want to, I think it will be honor for, when they said you may be, I said that will be honor for me if I can be killed in Karbala. That will be biggest honor of my life <laughs> if I can be killed. So I think that's what I'm trying to uh, uh, explain to them what happened in Karbala what was the uh, uh, history of Karbala, who was Imam Hussain alayhi salam, who was his uh, immediate family who were killed, and how, how the, I think in the history of the human being, never been like this a story, like a 72 companion and uh, immediate family, especially six months old, has been uh, murdered by these uh, uh, um, coward people. And uh, I don't think so we have any history of the in human being the way our Imam went through this uh, 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 tragedy. I came here on last Thursday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday morning, we came here. 
and for last uh, today is like a, a Sunday, so it's the sixth, fifth, sixth day. As I said, I've been to, mashallah, Hajj, Umrah, and uh, where you see the people selfish. When you go there, you say they're performing something which is like an uh, actor performing some act. Here you see people are doing things from their hearts. And you can see everybody try to help each other. It's not everybody try to do their self. That's a different feeling. That's a different thing, what I can see. And I think the internal feeling is very, very difficult to explain how I feel. Uh, I think being a Shia raised in Muhammad uh, Ali Bayt salam, so it's an automatic. And as soon as you come and go inside, you you just feel like your heart is sinking, a feeling of what went through the Imam salam. So it's very difficult to express. I don't think so anybody can express what they feel. It's a purely internal. So that's how I feel. And the memory is basically, yes, I think every memory is good because um, as I explained to you, I think I think looks like Imam call, calling you to come again and again. So I think I convey the same message to everyone that uh, obviously um, for our religion and our belief that Ziyarat uh, Imam Hussain alayhi salam is wajib those who can afford. Even I think the belief is a, a, like a hajj you can afford, but ziyara is a wajib even if you can't afford. Even if you have to borrow money, you should do it. So my message is I think uh, you're missing something. If you don't, if you haven't been here, I think you're missing biggest things in your life. I don't think so you can experience any of these feelings anywhere in the world. So it's not that Imam is going to lose if somebody is not coming. I think they are missing. They should come. They should experience. They sh I think it's a life-changing experience. Especially uh, if, uh, if we say, think that um, Imam has accepted our ibadat, then we should feel chained to ourselves after this ziyarat.